Hi everybody, welcome to another Connect AR feature update. Quick little video here, we're going to touch on what's new in version 2. Uh, so the first really uh, headline feature is the new 3D scan app. Uh, so this app is available for any iOS uh, Pro devices which include a LiDAR sensor and that actually lets you take your Connect AR application out in the field and capture the 3D environment. Um, you can do this by simply um, opening the app, tapping on the LiDAR button down the bottom there, and then you can just start panning around and capturing the real world. It's almost like painting the scene and it will capture a point cloud. Now that point cloud can be georeferenced if you're working with your uh, markers on site. Um, and you'll be able to pull that directly down from Trimble Connect in a LAS format. Uh, that file can then be brought into whatever point cloud software you usually work with, um, where you can use it to inspect or um, document your job site. So the next thing to talk about is actually not a feature in Connect AR, but it's actually a big upgrade to our support for Navisworks that we offer in Trimble Connect. Um, so a lot of our Connect AR users are working with Navisworks. Um, we've got general improvements to the assimilation speed, a lot of improvements to the way we manage content, working with colors and categorization of the data, um, fixing some of the little niggly you know, issues people may have encountered with things like in, in invalid information coming through in the, in the metadata. Um, all of that is going to be available in the next release of Trimble Connect Desktop. Back to Trimble Connect AR now, we've had some general improvements to model load times and also some specific optimizations designed to really target high-end devices working with highly complex data sets. Um, we've also got a new synchronization option in our document library. So if you're getting updated PDF plans coming into Trimble Connect, you can use the sync option here to automatically update that in the app. And by popular demand, we now have the ability to see all of your project markers displayed in all of your models. Um, so typically you'd be creating these markers in your structural model or on columns and walls. Um, but then, you know, if you'd load your mechanical model, you wouldn't actually be able to see those in the 3D view or on the plan view. Um, now you can. So it's going to make it a lot easier for people to understand that they can use any marker to load any model. Now the last update we've got is a really nice quality of your life improvement to our component placement workflow. Now when you're searching for the assembly, you can actually start to just type in the assembly ID and it will auto complete and you can just tap on that drop down list to select your component. Um, so major quality of life improvement there. 